Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. And in today's lesson, we'll talk about foreign currency transaction. In SQL, if you are using the Pro version, then you will have foreign currency module. Else, you need to purchase that module separately. For foreign currency, we divide into two different modules. The first one, we call it foreign currency module, which you can maintain your customer and supply in foreign currency. And the other one is called at one foreign currency, which you can maintain a foreign currency bank. So it depends on your requirements, then you can select accordingly. So the first thing to do is you need to go to tools, maintain currency. So you can maintain different kind of currency that you will be using. So example over here, we already have a US dollar. Okay. So you can put in a currency code a symbol maybe and the description you can put in the rate as a default but you can change this rate during the transaction now the second part will be you need to go to maintain of customer or supplier that will be using foreign currency in this example the customer is called us corporation and the currency maintenance is over here which you can change to different currency now, you need to take note one thing is if you have a same customer but sometimes you build them in different currency, you need to maintain that customer in different currency. That means same customer, you need, need to maintain them as two different customers because of the currency. Now, as usual, under the maintain supply, you also have the same things. You can change the currency over here for this particular supplier. Then, we just do the normal transactions as usual. For example, sales invoice. We go to sales invoice. Okay, we create a new invoice by selecting the customer in foreign currency. And you can see that there is a currency rate appear over here, which according to your maintenance as default in the tools maintain currency there. Then we have a item. For example, item is called blue pen. So one piece is 1,000 ringgit, for example, okay? And you can see that when you key 1,000 uh, as a unit price, it actually is in USD. Why? It's because at the left bottom here, you can see something called local net total. So local net total is the ringgit Malaysia. As you can see, I will change the rate to 4 and the local net total will change accordingly over here save okay so we go to customer make payment now when you select that customer invoice will appear over here so you just key in the amount the customer pay to you because you do not have at once foreign currency at once foreign currency module so you can only maintain your bank account in ringgit malaysia so maybe example maybank okay maybank so when your customer pay you this will be in maybank for example they pay you 4500 uh, 4, okay when you tick so you can see that the currency rate will appear over here you can't change the rate over here it's because it will determine by the system and it will follow exactly the same as your bank statement so no need to worry just follow back the bank statement the amount they paid in ringgit Malaysia and the system will convert to the rate accordingly so you save so when you save there is another screen pop up it's called gain and foreign exchange gain and loss screen so it will show you whether you gain in these transactions or you lost in foreign currency exchange gain and loss so you just click ok that's it the system will automatically help you to the to do the exchange gain and loss and at the same time if this is a gain exchange foreign foreign currency exchange then 
the system will auto assign a tax code called ES43 and put this amount under your GST03 when you submit your GST return. So the same things go to your supplier when you go to purchase invoice, when you purchase something in foreign currency. Okay, same things, currency rate will appear. Select the item. Exchange rate will appear over here. So we just save it. Then when you go to supplier payment, you pay by your Ringgit Malaysia bank account. Meaning that you are doing a TT for your supplier. Let's say 5,000. Okay, so you can see the rate also will change accordingly. Save. There will be an exchange gain and loss screen pop up. Done. So this is how you do your exchange foreign currency transactions. But of course, you still can go to your GL. Go to print ledger. Okay, you can check the ledger for let's set the date as today. Let's select account for sales. Where's my sales account? I'm not sure which sales account that I use, so I select all of this. Then I select my gain of for foreign currency or loss foreign currency. Okay, so it will show you the transaction. Okay, so this is how you do a foreign currency transactions. Now, if you do have time, please drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash Technologies. Please help me to like my page and you can get all the latest GST info and also SCAR cutting system info over here. And at the same time, you might want to have a look on the previous SQL tutorial video. So you can go to my website. It's syntech.com.my. Click on YouTube. Then there's all the tutorial video available. So that's all for today. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.